Sneak attack, sneak attack. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. We got camber, stretch tires, useless arrow, oxygen suspension. Static cars slammed on their nuts in the widest, most expensive wheels you can find. You read the title, you know exactly what we're talking about today. We're getting into one of my personal favorites, stance cars. Talk about controversy, it seems like you either love these things or absolutely hate them. These cars are all about the form, over function, getting stuck on speed bumps, destroying fenders, but taking home those sweet, sweet car show trophies and gaining some Instagram clout. That's what it's all about, right? Wrong! These cars take more damage than the Bucket's Phil Swift Flex Seals. No, that's a lot of damage! However, they look good, break necks, and get the internet all riled up. So why do stance cars get so much hate? Hey, I want to give you free wheels and tires and suspension. Head on over to fitmentindustries.com to check out our latest giveaway with Artisa wheels, Fortunato coilovers, and Continental tires. We have some really dope apparel and also for the first time released a limited edition skate deck. We're announcing the winners on February 26th, so go get entered. Okay, the plugs are out of the way and this is where I normally talk a bit about the history, but pfft, the history of stance isn't that straightforward. There wasn't one key person or an era where stance just started. So instead, let's dive into exactly what stance is before we start getting into why it's all hated and that stuff. Now, stance doesn't necessarily mean slammed on the ground, scraping the pavement. There are a ton of different ways to stance your car. There are meaty setups, flush, poke, tucked, stretched, hella flush, and the list goes on. Stance is just referring to how the car sits. Over the years, it has been used more so to refer to slam cars. Cars as low to the ground as you can get with some wide, flashy wheels. Ooh, it just gets me going. I can hear you now. So chubby beard guy with the tattoos, why in the Sam would people want to lower their car and add wheels that are more expensive than the car itself? It might surprise you how Stance has been influenced. What if I told you race cars are the reason your local car meet looks like Godzilla came through and stepped on every car as you walk by? Yes, race, race cars. cars. Look at any road race car. All of them are as low as they can be for aerodynamics and traction along with wider tires so they can put that power down. Now there is a saying that stuck with me. All race cars can be show cars, but not all show cars can be race cars. Giving cars this stance was heavily inspired by seeing how aggressive and mean the cars look. Now there obviously has been heavy variations to this and people always need to take things to the extreme. This is where we start to see a ton of the hate coming. Lowering your car is pretty widely accepted around the car community, except for maybe, I don't know, rally guys, they like to jack them up in the air. But when you start stretching the tires and adding camber, more negative than my RuneScape bank account after I got scammed, people start getting upset. When you're trying to fit the widest wheel you can and maxing out your coilovers with 60K spring rates, you start running into some fitment issues. By adding camber and stretching your tire, you're able to dial in the perfect fitment you're going for. However, by doing this, you are genuinely ruining the handling of your car and sometimes even making it a risk to have on the road. De-beating and having your tire pop off your wheel isn't fun. Not being able to turn because your wheel is destroying your inner fender and the lip of your wheel is making bacon on your paint is enough to send people into a rage. This is exactly why Stance gets so much hate. You get your nice new car that has millions of dollars of design work with the latest and greatest technologies to have the best handling possible, and we have people with their vapes and musical inspirational quotes going and giving the middle finger to any type of function whatsoever about their car. There are some cars where the literal barrel of the wheel is exposed or they have so much camber that the contact patch of the tire is less than an inch on the road. People that are into drag racing or track days or maybe even just keeping their car stock looking, look at this like it's a UFO from outer space and cannot even begin to understand why anyone would do it. Let me see if I can clear things up. Just like going for the most horsepower on a car you can get, you're going to break some shit. It's part of it. Us in the stance scene have a specific look we're going for in our cars and a car is a blank canvas for you to do anything you want. You can go for something that looks aesthetically pleasing to you. I think cars that are lowered and have fender to lip fitment look good. I like it. There's a ton that goes into dialing in your stance to achieve a certain look and the people that have done it know exactly what I'm talking about. There are a few people that take it to the extreme, like I said before, and try to do something no one else has ever done and that's exactly why they're doing it. Pushing the limits of a style and getting recognized. Some people enjoy getting the attention and making people confused as hell looking at their cars. 
That's what gets them off. It's all for aesthetic reasons. I understand completely why Stance cars aren't for everyone, but in reality, it's great that they are around, even the extreme ones. If all cars looked exactly the same, my Instagram feed would be boring and I'd get tired of going to shows. Drag car, dope. Autocross car, hell yeah, brother. You just got air so you can finally have your front lip kiss the ground, fan, Fantastic. Having variations of cars and getting to see them modified in different ways is what keeps me going. Build your car exactly how you want it to be and don't let anyone tell you different. I'm going to put Stance as a four on the hate meter because it does get hate, but it's usually in the more extreme circumstances. Speaking of extreme, have you seen Bozo Zuku cars? They're absolutely wild and insane. I absolutely love them. They're based out of Japan. They demand you to look and they're nothing like we have over here. But what do you think? Do you like Stance cars? Do you hate them? Comment below. I'm going to read every single one. Whether you're going to be going for your best lap time or want to win that next show trophy, check out fitmentindustries.com for all the wheels, tires, and suspension you could ever want. But think about this for a minute. If every car did look exactly the same or if every single car was a Drake car or a Stance car, wouldn't it get boring? I love seeing what you guys come up with. Keep up the crazy cars. Bye.